Singapore, famous for so many different things. However, one of the most famous things Singapore is very popular for is this beautiful building over there, which is the Art and Science Museum. And guys, welcome back to our video today. And we're going to be showing you around Hello. all the beautiful sites around this Marina Base area. But most specifically today is the Art and Science Museum, as well as some other beautiful areas in Singapore. So guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's try and explore these futuristic installations and let's see how wild and wonderful it is. Exactly, you may have seen a lot of videos on Instagram and pictures, but we're about to take you deep inside. Let's roll. Welcome to the Lion City, Singapore. For a population of 5.64 million, where the sights are stunning, the food is divine and the culture is rich. In this video, we're taking you on a journey through Singapore's vibrant streets, iconic landmarks and hidden gems. Get ready to feast your eyes on the glittering cityscape, indulge in mouth-watering local cuisine and immerse yourself in the dynamic blend of East and West. From the bustling markets to the tranquil gardens, we've got it all covered, so sit back, relax and join us as we explore the magic of Singapore. Guys, what I love about this area specifically is it's not just a one-off attraction place where you just come and go there and leave. You've basically got all these bars and restaurants and you've also got the Marina Bay Sands shopping mall which is just inside. We covered a lot of that in one of our in our first impressions videos so you may want to go check that out as well either during this video or when it's done so you can get a good idea of what that mall is like as well. As you can see it's literally just to my right behind me and there's plenty of beautiful shops and restaurants in there as well so you can really make a day out of coming to the science arts and science museum. to go in yeah. so guys we've just made our way inside let's see where we have to go hello where is the entrance how do we get inside world, yeah it's over there the white wall the over there yeah? yeah okay thank you so guys when you actually come inside the science museum come down to b2 and there it is look for the future world Guys, let's do this. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Fantastic, my friend. Hey. Hello. Yes, sure. Is that QR code right? I can just take one scan. Okay. So, our inside photos are allowed. Just make sure it's without any flash, okay? Okay. So can I have your umbrella? Yes. So, we tend to keep umbrella too. Okay. okay just don't give it to nobody else. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your tag to prove oh, okay. that this is your Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, one thing I have to say, I am definitely very, very impressed. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Looks like we've got a little bit of a queue for uh, taking some photos here. see an installation called 100 years sea it's basically a digital installation of the sea showing how the sea levels rise caused by the climate change and it's just amazing to see how the artists put it all together based on a real scientific data this museum is absolutely stunning it is the perfect example of art meets science the whole installation is one of the most impressive I have seen from any digital art museum around the world. Whether you're coming with family or friends, it's a fantastic day out and an experience worth having when visiting Singapore and especially the Marina Bay Sands area. I genuinely didn't expect it to be as great as it was, so when you're in Singapore, I highly recommend adding it to your list of things to do. So this is a quite a cool concept. So inside the Science Museum, they've got this place where art truly meets science. So you basically sit down here, you colour some bits of animals on this bit of paper and whatever you colour here and draw will basically come up on that screen up there. Love it, it's quite cool. 
What are you going to draw for us? What are you going to draw? Here. And That's a seahorse. That's right. And I'm absolutely terrible at drawing. You just have to colour it. <laughs> but I am willing to, um, you know, experiment and see what comes out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, art is not my strong... Nice strong one. That's nice. There we have it, finished. When it's going to swim there, it's probably going to look very ugly. But um, look what I've written there, yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go on adventure, he adventures. <laughs> yeah. Go on, give it to our guy to scan. <laughs> there, there, he just came in. There, yeah. There, there. There, there, he's there, there. Yeah, <laughs> he's swimming. We honestly had a fantastic time enjoying all the different activities and things you can see whilst in the museum. It was one of the most interactive museums we've visited in the world. And make sure you don't leave the Science Museum before getting these famous Instagram pictures. is the experience over and I thought it was very cool. Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah. If you like, you know, these digital installations, techie, engaging things, interactive things, you should definitely give it a good go. Yeah, it was a bit dark in there, guys, so I wasn't able to vlog too much, hence there's a lot of voiceover. But overall, I mean, I highly recommend it. It's a, one of those things where you come and enjoy for at least like an hour or so. Um, but it is something that you'll go away with and definitely remember for the rest of your day. And you'll get those famous Instagram shots. And it's interactive and it's fun. And there is also a lot of spaces for kids, you know, so they, they can be kept quite busy if you come here with family. And that's it, guys. When you come to Singapore, guys, you will definitely want to check out this beautiful art science museum here. Uh, it's a very interesting building in itself and a lot of interesting activities indoors but what I would recommend to do is get your tickets purchased in advance because if you if you want to try to get them in, in, inside you're gonna have to queue up and it's a lot of waiting around and a lot of you know wasting time unnecessarily so you can just pre-purchase your ticket and you can do what we did which is use get your guide it's an online platform providing a lot of activities around the world and um, it's, it's really easy to use once you book it they send their ticket your tickets to, to the app you just pick it up from your app and they scan you uh, the tickets at the entrance which means there's no queuing no waiting around you just you know straight in and straight out Sometimes people don't like to pre-book tickets because, you know, then you're kind of stuck with the date and the time, etc. But with Get Your Guide, you can cancel your tickets 20 hours prior and you will still get your full refund. So you can get it pre-booked to make sure you can just get in easily and not having to worry that you're going to, you know, not able to make it or lose your money. As long as you cancel 24 hours in advance at least. Uh, it's absolutely safe and they allow you to cancel and send you a full refund back. You click on get your guide um, app and in bookings immediately it shows that I've got to visit the museum today. It gives me the hours that is open and so you can just choose when you want to attend. Normally the tickets will also appear within the booking but sometimes depending on the provider uh, they will email you the tickets. So um, a couple of days ago I received the tickets by email and it's super simple you just click on pdf and when you go in they will just scan your barcode and it's honestly super easy and super convenient okay. guys we're now heading over to little india we've got ourselves a grab Back in our natural habitat, Little India. <laughs> Brown too, guys. Yeah, we... You may have seen we went to Little India area in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, but we are now looking forward to exploring it here in Singapore and see if they are let's anyhow see. different. Yeah, let's see what the difference is from 
Little India in Malaysia to Little India in Singapore. And already smell the Indian spices. We're just going to do a little bit of a walk-in tour with you guys. Show you what this place consists of. Maybe grab some nice Indian food and uh, just get mixed up in some of the locals, see what they're saying. So you're going to find loads of places selling lovely Indian sweets here. We've got some like, oh, Jangiri, we've got some chocolate. These are like milk sweets. Had some of these milk sweets over in Malaysia and they tasted delicious. a little market here in Little India and it seems like they're selling all types of Indian things such as these beautiful flowers which they use a lot for celebrations in India and also we've got the singing bowls remember these yeah singing bowls oh yeah what kind of bowl yeah we're yeah, just looking nice. very nice thank you thank you one thing I have to say here this is definitely the cleanest little India I've seen anywhere in the world like everything just looks super clean and fresh like look how beautiful and colorful the buildings are like just really really well kept and nice because a little India in Malaysia is also very nice but it's not as uh, I say new as this place not as, uh, sanitary <laughs> yeah a little bit more on the rough side and it's also I love really all these, even. yeah I love all these buildings the colors just gorgeous very vibrant yeah. I'm guessing this place gets more lively at night Here. Hello my friend, how are you? Good. Good. Uh, can you just tell us what is this one? Milk? Milk, yes. Milk and badam and uh, black brown sugar. And chocolate or? No, brown sugar. Ah, just brown sugar, yeah? Okay. Mm. And this one? This one? This one is same, but white sugar. Ah. Okay. Ah, okay. I think I would like, can we just try like buy one and one? Uh, minimum is 100 grams. Ah. 100 grams or three pieces. Three pieces, okay, that's fine. So one pistachio, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one more uh, milk burfi. Or oh, chocolate burfi, actually. Yeah. So guys, we're getting three different types of Indian sweets. We're getting one which is made of brown sugar and milk. And then one which is going to be with pistachio. And one with milk and chocolate. Yes, we need some sugar guys to get our energy back. Yeah, for five dollars forty Singaporean dollars for three sweets. Ain't cheap. It's very yeah, dear. That's... If you were in India, you could probably buy a whole box for that, man. You could probably buy a whole yeah. city. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, that's a rip off. But, but we are in Singapore. Exactly, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank so you. Cheers. Can okay, we just, we'll just uh, sit, sit inside. Here. Thank you. I chose the healthier option, guys. Healthy. Pistachios, nuts, and fruits. Yes, it tastes. Mm. Good. Oh, yum. It's a bit like baklava to do, right? So, let's try this. Basically, just brown sugar, I think. Mmm. <laughs> nice. That dried brown sugar. Something to hold it together. He said it's not chocolate, but it does taste like chocolate. Mm. Try this one. This is milk and chocolate. Mm. Super sweet, but so nice. Thank you, my friend. Bye bye. bye. Well, that was some absolutely delicious Indian sweets. Yum yum yum. Yum yum. Sugar levels have definitely increased 759 percent because of how much sugar was literally inside of those sweets. But. Honestly, it has given me a little bit of a boost because I was getting quite tired. It's been a long few days, actually. Um, it's been quite intense filming here in Singapore because typically most people when they visit Singapore, you don't really come to spend a long period of time. And mainly because it is so expensive to be in Singapore. So we're trying to cram as much as possible in within five, six days. So because of that reason, it has been intense. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying today's video and have been also enjoying the Singapore series so far because um, we've found it very interesting, to be honest. We've 
been through rain, we've been through sunshine, we've been almost through, through luxury, all, luxury through we've, authentic areas, yeah. you know, it's been a little bit of everything. It has, yeah, it has been a little bit of everything. So hopefully if you guys have been enjoying it, guys, if you can just press the subscribe button and like because it really does help the channel really more than you think. Anyway, let us carry on this adventure. Let's see what else we're gonna find in Little India and we are still hungry so we will be finishing off this vlog in a very tasty tasty restaurant. close now to the restaurant called banana leaves but just before we get there you walk past all these gorgeous different types of Indian restaurants there's so much to choose from but we were actually recommended to come to banana leaves specifically because apparently it's got one of the best dishes here right so basically it's got the, what, the reason why it's famous is in the name banana leaf the curry is actually served within a banana leaf or the rice is so anyway we're very close it's just here and uh, we are hoping it's nice and oh we've got some ice cream afterwards it just been very nice here we are. We finally made it to the famous banana leaf Apollo since 1974. Hello, my friend. Two people, please. Thank you. You can just smell it, guys. Smell it. As soon as you walk in, you're smelling all the spices, the curry. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Oh yeah, it smells good in here. There's nothing like the smell of a good old curry, guys, I tell ya. If you're ever having a bad day, just have a curry. It'll sort you right out. So guys, first things first, we have been enlightened with a big tray of a huge banana leaf and I've never been given a hand wipe just before starting. Usually it comes afterwards. However, this has come at the beginning interesting and we have a fork and a spoon and this is something actually i noticed in malaysia as well you don't get fork and knives in malaysia either it's just forks and spoons and by going by the comments in the, one of the videos that i made over in malaysia somebody basically said well i still don't know the, the valid reason the, some of the comments i was re reading people were like you just don't need a knife so i'm not sure if that's a valid reason <laughs> i think that's more of just a personal preference but personally for me i would like to have a knife anyway let's order some lunch so guys they have a big big menu there but one thing i will say it definitely isn't the cheapest of indian food i've ever had again not surprised because we are in singapore and things here are not very cheap however typically indian food is not that expensive so i'm quite surprised to see these prices but it probably is because this place is very popular it's, you know one of the highest ratings on google so it makes sense so we have some like tandoori chicken we've got some vegetable options just to give you guys an idea like a tandoori chicken plate half 17 dollars and then like a big full tandoori chicken, $32. Well, this is completely different recipe. So. Okay, so we have made our order now, guys, and we have ordered two butter chickens or one? Two butter chickens. Oh, yeah. One garlic naan and some white rice. Just what the doctor ordered. Now, let me know, guys, if you're watching this video as well, if you also like Indian food, because honestly, Indian food is, for me, my favorite in the world. The flavors, the spices, just everything that goes in it is so complex but so simple at the same time. The only problem with Indian food is just uh, not the best for you so we try not to have it too much. Right? Yeah but it's very comforting, it's, a, it's comfort food. Yeah. Fantastic. And yep thank you. And we ordered some rice as well. Nice thank you. Wow, look at this guys. The delicious butter chicken has officially arrived. Look at that. We've even got some tomato in there and the cream just around. Excited? Yeah. Oh yes. I'm so hungry. So I'm looking forward to... Are you going to buy it? Sticking mm. with this garlic bun. Let's have a little dip. 
Mm. Yes, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Good old butter chicken. It's good. Oh. Fantastic. Yummy, yummy. All right, now let's give myself a taste. So this is a garlic banana, basically garlic bread. So give it a little dip. So it's part of the taste test. Delicious. <clears throat> That's really, really good. Super buttery, super smooth. Mm. Very delicious. Not too oily either. The consistency is very, very thick, very creamy, very smooth. Lovely. Let's get some rice in there as well. Now guys, what I love about this is how you basically eat from this banana leaf just here. So you pour all the rice and the curry right into the banana leaf. Let's see if it makes a difference to the flavours. Mm. Delicious. One thing I will say, I would say that the bar chicken is a little bit on the sweet side, just a very, very little bit. Could do with a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a spicy salt, and a bit more of a kick. I feel like it's missing. Overall, it is delicious. Let's try some of the chicken as well. Mm. The chicken's good. Very soft, tender. I like it. Alright guys, that is our Indian food officially over and we managed to finish I would say about 60% of it because it started becoming very very heavy overall um, and um, I felt to rate it out of 5, I think I'll give it about a 3 out of 5 um, mainly because of the price point of how much is charged for this type of curry like I've had curries all around the world and honestly um, more delicious for a fraction of the price so again it's just Singapore so expect it some of the places that you expect will be cheap will probably be double the price so just bear that in mind um, but yeah overall we're just gonna finish up now we're gonna pay and head back home to the hotel and finish up the vlog let's go That is a full day officially finished exploring Singapore and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, one thing I just wanted to cover off with you before I end the video is if you just a quick reminder if you want to book the experience with get your guide for the science museum all the details are down below in the description and you'll be able to book it directly for yourself and if you have if you have any questions about the booking experience or any questions in general about the video feel free just to leave it in the comment section below I'll be sure to answer them I answer 99.9% of the comments so I'm sure I'll be able to help you if you need anything so guys that's it and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing because it really does help the channel and hopefully I'll be able to see you on the next video as well if not good night and see you soon peace out